towards the goal of accomplishing the Grand Slam. Well, gentlemen, last afternoon, should we go chase some trout? That will complete our Grand Slam. It would complete our Grand Slam. Lake trout fishing is uh, a fish you have to take a little bit more time for. So uh, we'll drift around here and we'll jig this. You can get really lucky and you can have a four or five hour span where you just really get into them one after another. But you usually have to put your time in a little bit, have to try to locate them. 103 feet of water and a market fish. Jigging them, if you can get into a couple schools and groups of them, you can usually get uh, quite a few. Right now I'm putting on a barrel swivel. And then we'll give it about probably seven, eight feet of the buzz bomb. This is so the buzz bomb can slide up and down. And the little barrel swivel will also turn it as it comes up and it won't twist up your line. You gotta add as bad because those buzz bombs twist up line, man. Oh yeah. In Brent years, we're gonna run a two ounce jig. Now we'll be able to see what's gonna work quicker and we'll be able to switch them both to that then. Drop them all the way down to the bottom, give them a couple good jigs, reel them back to the surface again. So sometimes the trout will chase them up or hit the lures on the way up. Sometimes they'll smack it right on the bottom. That's you right there. Unless we're coming up a shell. Yeah, there you go. You got him. Fish, fish on. on. You got him. Slow it up, slow it up. You got him. Fish on. There you go. Just work him. You got him on. Oh, Just man. On. <laughs> this is a lake trout. That equals a grand slam. This is a lake trout. I got Down one as well. Typically, when you're lake trout fishing, you're going to catch lots of fish that are between three to eight pounds. You're in a day, you could easily catch a fish that could be above that 15 pounds, 25 pounds. Fish on walls in itself, uh, even as big as 50 pounds. And if you put in your time, you never know what could happen. Jeez. All these spit her off. This is a pretty nice trout. It's a powerful fish, too. You'll find out, Brent. You get them up to the surface and they roll and roll. Oh, that's a hog. Look at that fish. Wow. Nice one. See what I mean? Yep. And they roll and roll and roll. That took us, what, five minutes and we got a double header? Yep. Beautiful fish. There you go. There fish you. on. Real to real to I think. I think it's gone. When you hit these trout, give them one, reel down to them again, give them one more and just stay on them. Keep that tension right. on the rod. Our guide Clayton was, was excellent. He really was. You jerk them, they'll come up with the bait and you'll get a lot of slack on there. So reel to them quick. He knew the lengths, he knew the locations to take us. He understood the fish. So you're starting to set the hook right here. Yeah. So then you've you got nowhere to go. So if you feel a bump, reel fast as you take can down there and then jam them there. Got gotcha. you. Uh, and I trusted him, and, and each time he put me on fish. Nice. Go. Good luck, Seth. Double header. Oh, nice. bigger than I thought. <laughs> stay on him, stay on him, stay on him. Oh, this is great. This is great. Here's that other species of trout you're talking about. No. That's just a sisquid as well. What was it? The gray's fins are predominantly white. Like this one. See, this is a gray. Nice one. But look at look at how yellow and gold those fins are. And then wait till you get this one. See, the fins are white. They're clear with white trim. But by the way, when one guy hooks the fish, and you're you stay down there and jig rapidly. Once these things start reacting like that, yeah. and you feel the fighting, it calls other trout in. All right. All right. You know what I mean? So I mean, I've done that twice now to you. Yep. You hook the fish. Oh, I got a fish. And I'm boom right now. Like opening a bag of chips, everybody comes over to see what's um, yes. going on. Do you see what I mean about the fins on him? You don't have hardly any gold tint to him at all. Well, that's four trout we've landed, about four more we've lost, and what have we fished? 10 or 15 minutes? Yeah. Now the question is, do you out there watching? Do I have your attention for a second? Do you think you could do this? There's nothing to it. You gotta have the right equipment. You got, I mean, this is a seven foot three inch St. Croix. It's real stiff backbone to it. It's our pike rods. Um, but a good light tip for the jigging action like we're doing with the buzz bomb, I like to work it three, four times off of the bottom like so, and then bring it up some. Work it a little bit, let it flutter back. As that buzz bomb flutters back, it does all kinds of weird stuff. That's that diamond shape to it. And sometimes you can bring it all the way to the surface before they'll hit it. But today they seem to be hugging the bottom, so I'm just bringing it 30, 40 feet off the bottom and then dropping her back down again. Oh boy! A little bit better one, babe? I brought it about 30 feet or so off the bottom and then just stopped the bait. Big one. Oh yeah. 
This is a good fish right here. Oh, this is a horse here. Here's babe again, old chopped liver. I think I'm bringing a log up. I think I hooked a piece of timber down there. If that's a log, it isn't gonna take long and you'll know that the log has got an outboard motor tied to his derriere. There he goes, back down to the bottom. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, big one. Woo. He goes on my line. All the way back all down way to, back the, to bottom. the bottom. He says, bring, I don't like all this. All the way back sunlight. down, you gotta bring him all the way back up now. Come on, you horse. Hey, you just take your time there, mister. That's a good fish. Nice fish. This has got to be the biggest freshwater fish I've ever caught. Come on. Come on. Let's More see yet. You. There he is. There he is. Big fish. Oh, big fish. Good fish. Slide him over here. Oh, man. Keep sliding him. Are you kidding me? Got him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We got him, man. There goes Woo! the grand slam, mister. Good job, man. That was the trout we were after right there. That's not a lake trout, that's a lake creature there. That's a pig, man. That's a beautiful what fish. A fish. Let's get him back in the water. Let's let this creature live here. Give me an estimate of how much you think that weighs. That fish weighs 25 pounds, 30, almost 30 pounds. Really? Wow. She's almost ready to go. And there she goes. And she's headed right straight down. Nice fish. Hey. Oh, come on up here, man. Yeah. The lake trout were definitely something I was looking forward to catching. Nice. Good I've caught uh, a few lake trout, but nothing with any size to it. I've never fished like this. To get out there and to get, get on them pretty much right away, we didn't hardly waste any time finding those fish. Oh yeah, that's a oh. big fish. And the size was just incredible. Nice fish. Uh, man, look at that fish. It's a high 30 inch fish. You know what I think we ought to try, though? I think we ought to try some trolling. Good fish? It's a big fish. The brochures show these giant lake trout, and, you know, honestly, the ones that are so big, they, they look like, they take on some other form, almost like a, we, we were calling them lake creatures because they, they don't look like a trout anymore. They just look like this monster from the deep. Uh, <laughs> you know, we caught a couple uh, that were just huge. I thought, and we had one it was just, it was a creature. It was a lake creature. It was enormous. Um, that was, that's the highlight of my trip right there. Well, Brent, what do you think? I mean, we have been fishing lake trout less than a half a day. And I, I don't even know how many lake trout we've got, 30 or 40. And that was after ripping the lips off of somebody grayling. We didn't, nobody counted. And then that was on top of Buku amount of walleyes. And then the day before, catch a pike that's as big as an alligator. This is four days of absolutely phenomenal, incredible fishing. What I've learned, and not just this week, in the five years that I've spent up here alone, is you're gonna see things, you're gonna do things that people only wish they could do day in and day out. You're just gonna have an experience that you'll never forget and you'll be able to take home with you some memories that'll last forever.